Yeah. All right, number nine. Here we go. It's wedding season, so here's advice for newlyweds. Relationship therapists often refer to the first year of marriage as the wet cement years. Oh, well, that's, part, yeah. <laughs> so okay, that's, that's that sounds deadly. Yeah. And that's uh, just what's happening in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, right. Both partners are figuring out how to live together without getting stuck, uh, without developing bad habits that might trap them later on. Make your house a home, a place you want to spend time together. You should fill it with cozy things that make the two of you smile. Uh, you don't have to have... Don't have your phone on at the dinner table so you can focus on each other instead of outside distractions. Try not to walk around in sweats and cozy pants all the time. Keep a little romance alive by at least trying every once in a while. And try a new adventure a few times a month, whether it's outside or inside the bedroom. There's a lot of words you were reading there. I had lo you lost yeah. me halfway through. Uh, listen, it's all I felt like I was in wet cement listening yeah. to that script. Yeah. All me. right, number eight. A new company called Yo Egg is working on bringing no yolk egg to the masses. The idea was inspired by a chef who created a plant based poached egg complete with a runny yolk in her home kitchen. She says it took her about 18 months to get that runny yolk and egg like taste just right. About 98% of yo eggs are made from chickpeas, soy protein, vegetable oil, carrot extract, and beta carotene. They started appearing on menus in Los yeah. Angeles in February, and they're gaining traction in other locations across the U.S. Eh, right. No, yeah, hard it's, pass. No, you lost me at L.A. Now, number seven, <laughs> if you're traveling this summer, be on the lookout for hidden fees, like really hidden. The guy shared this story with the Wall Street Journal. He stayed four nights at a resort in Scottsdale, Arizona. As he checked out, he noticed a, uh, a 10 Bellman gratuity fee. I guess a $10 Bellman gratuity fee and a daily $3 maid gratuity fee. He never used the Bellman. He left the maid a daily tip in cash, much larger than three bucks, uh -huh. but that was resort policy. These are just a few of the things to keep an eye out for. There are lots of others. We'll tell you more tomorrow, but this one really stood out. A recent visitor to the Wynn, Las Vegas, ordered two drinks and checked his receipt. There was a $3.50 fee for Kraft Ice. Huh. A spokesperson for the Wynn says they've recently changed suppliers and will no longer be charging for Kraft Ice <laughs> uh, starting next week. Kraft Ice, come on. Uh, number six, the name of this Twitter feed explains it all. Images that could be album covers. Let's take a look here. All right, so there's the feed. All right. Yeah. Sure. Dark album there. Eesh. Oh. Look. oh. None of these seem very uplifting album no, covers no. so far. No, dark here. years. Sure. Be... A couple more Is that the end. Hmm. All right. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Number five. All wow. right. Number five. <laughs> it's like Nike sneakers meet out outer space cowboy. And the E boot is the design of Andy Martinez. He's a New Yorker known as the in, in the industry as the Dr. Frankenstein of footwear. He calls the boots absurdist Nikes with extra soles and they're hand stitched to Cuban style cowboy boots. So he merges the top of a cowboy boot with the uh, the Nike shoes on the bottom. 650 hmm. bucks he oh, does them if you want to rock this look. Uh, by the way, they're made to be pulled on just like the, uh, you know, boots. Oh, sure you don't is. tie them or anything. Mm, yeah. Look at that. Okay. All right, number four, check uh, this place out. In the event you enter or you ever win the lottery or inherit a lot of money, you can buy this circular villa built into the hillside of a Greek island and it's only 9.3 million. Just enjoy the pictures and think about what we do if we ever lived here. Hmm. Okay. Looks cozy. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to get there, Robin. We Oy. know you don't love long plane rides. No, I do not. Boy, that's nice. I feel like I'd fall off my living room right into the, yeah. the Float pool and I'd the, drown. Yeah. You, know. you best not go. 
mean, you can't, you, you yeah. need a warning on the yeah, edge of that oh, pool. Oh, yeah, yeah, even that bed you could fall out of if you're not <laughs> Especially <laughs> someone like you who's always moving so quickly yeah. and not yeah. total yeah. Excess disregard for where you are in your space, right. you know? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the cartwheels you're doing. <laughs> wind sprints, yeah. right? <laughs> she loves not just regular yeah. sprints. She loves wind sprints. Right. Yeah. 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 And how do you even do a lap in that pool? You yeah. can't. It's right. curved. Yeah. You, you yeah. lose your way mm -hmm. and you hit your head on the side yeah. of the yeah. pool. Yeah, there's no reason hey, George, for George, you know. Yeah. yeah. See? See? See, George, the funny, yeah, yeah. The funny <laughs> thing is, is that there's a nugget of belief and truth to everything she's saying. Like, she's thinking about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, at least there's not a diving board there. You yeah. Say. Oh, and that'd be you, you think you're walking, and then your leg hits the stairs in the pool, and you got to scrape. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> Number three, speaking of houses, one of the latest real estate perks. Uh-oh, Polly. Horses. Oh, oh. People aren't just selling their homes. They're selling luxury. They're including incentives that bring that extra something to the table for potential buyers. In some cases, their potential buyers are looking for their fifth, sixth, even tenth home. So they're not just selling the polo ground, they're adding the polo ponies. Wow. Gosh. Uh, All right, number two, another example of the ridiculousness of real estate in Manhattan. This is listed as a perfect starter apartment, okay? 77 square feet, Ooh, no is. bathroom, $2,300 a month. What? Well, it is, it is in a great neighborhood, though, oh, right in the heart of Greenwich Village, but you have to share a very small bathroom with other tenants. It has a small kitchenette, a mini fridge, and a sink, and one big window. In December, it was listed at 2000 a month. So the wow. price has actually gone up in six months for no bathroom. About hardwood floors. I mean... Look at that one window. Ugh. How many windows do you need, Dan? Oh. Mr. North Shore. Yeah. That's more than one. <laughs> yeah, there's like one on every wall there. So that tiny bathroom that we just showed is the one you share yeah. with oh, people it. down the hall. We don't get enough shared bathrooms. I mean, and I don't even see a shower in there. Where are you showering? Bathroom neighbor's house. I mean, oh. Three, three, three. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, number one, after the success of The Exorcist, there seems to be a lot of movies about kids who are Sorry. possessed. This one is from 1977 about reincarnation. Oh, no. It was also pretty scary. It is called Audrey Rose. I don't want to see this. Well, uh, our viewers might. The mother, the father, the child, the stranger. He's oh. going to harm us. It's Ivy he's after. The past. Oh. The present. The nightmare. <laughs> The terror. I saw her burn her hands on a cold window. <laughs> the movie. Oh, Audrey geez. Rose, hmm. the novel of reincarnation, is now a spellbinding motion picture. <laughs> the pain, the anger, <laughs> the trial, <laughs> the test. Well, this guy's giving away the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. Sure is. Slow it down. The question. Audrey. The answer. Never the child! Oh, it worked it all in. The torment. Here. See, now I just feel like he's just picking words out of nowhere yeah. and yeah. just yeah. putting Those, them in. The, the air conditioner. Yeah. The food plate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the neighbor. Is that Anthony Hopkins? The blizzard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Sherpa. Wow. It was all there. <laughs> that was something. The ah. real cheese. <laughs> That's the night at night. It's night at night.